Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Chemistry Unplugged. Today we will discuss about triphenylphosphine, phosphonium elide, dead, a reagent, Wittig reaction, Wadsworth, Amon reagent, Mitt Sunovo reaction. But before starting my video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for future notifications. So first we will discuss about triphenylphosphine. Triphenylphosphine is used for the generation of phosphorus elide and the reaction related to it is Wittig reaction. Wittig reaction is conversion of CO bond to C double bond C bond. Okay, but for this reaction we can use only aldehydes and ketones to convert them into alkenes. So for this reaction we need triphenylphosphine and nucleophile containing molecule for example in this case we have methyl iodide so in the first step the lone pair of electron present on phosphorus will attack on ch3 and iodide is a good leaving group it is a good nucleophile as well as a good leaving group so it will be removed it is sn2 reaction so we have positive charge on phosphorus. So the proton on the carbon adjacent to positively charged phosphorus is highly acidic. So we have this carbon which is adjacent to positively charged phosphorus and hydrogen on this carbon is highly acidic in nature. So we can remove this hydrogen using a strong bases like butyl lithium. So when we remove one of the hydrogen from methyl group it will be converted into CH2 minus so when we have positive charge on phosphorus and negative charge on its adjacent carbon it is known as allied or phosphonium allied we can write it write it down like this ph3p double bond CH2 then we call it phosphorane then this phosphorane or phosphorine phosphonium allied will attack on ketone or aldehyde so in the first step lone pair of electron present on oxygen atom of carbonyl will attack on the positively charged phosphorus and this negatively charged carbon will, at will attack on the positively charged carbon of ketone then we have a cyclic compound or intermediate which is known as oxaphosphatane and then this bond will break and this bond will shift to shift here and we have alkene and PPH3O. Phosphorus has a strong affinity for oxygen. So when it found oxygen easily bind with, with it, then merits of Wittig reaction. It is best method for generation of less substituted alkenes. For example, we have cyclohexanone and we are using an allied which contains CH2 minus. So this CH2 group from this allied will connect here and O will be removed with PH3P. So we have a alkene which is less substituted. Otherwise, when we use other methods for generation of alkenes, we have these two type of product in which more substituted alkene is major product as compared to less substituted alkene. So if we want to generate less substituted alkene, we can use Wittig re reaction. Then stereochemistry in the Wittig reaction. It depends on the structure of allyl. For the unstabilized allyls or for the simple allyls, products are Z selective and for stabilized allides, they are E selective. Then, what is unstabilized allied or stabilized allied? Suppose we have an allied here on which this negative charge carbon is attached with a alkyl group which is not branched or which is not connected with any other electron withdrawing group. So, it is simple allied or unstabilized. This negative charge is not balanced by any other electron withdrawing group. So it is unstabilized allied. It is only balanced out by this positive charge of phosphorus. So in this case, we have mainly Z product. 
and in case of stabilized elite like this in which negative charge of the elite is balanced by the electron withdrawing group this negative charge is balanced by this electron withdrawing group in addition to pph3 so in this case we have mainly e product let's take another example in this case we have simple elite ph3 p double bond ch2 me we can also call it phosphorane because we don't have positive and negative charge here we can also write it down like this so in this case the phosphorane is simple so the product is mainly z selective both the heavier group on the same side in the double bond in next example we again have same phosphorane so we'll have this z selective alkene as a major product next we take an example of intramolecular wittig reaction we have this a um, molecule so we will use pph3 triphenylphosphine so it will attack on this carbon and br will be removed as br minus so this will become like this positive charge on phosphorus in the next step this carbon containing hydrogen and these hydrogens are acidic in nature because they are attached with positively charged phosphorus so in the next step we will use a base which will remove hydrogen from here and we have negative charge on this carbon and we have elite this negative charge will attack on the carbon of carbonyl group because it is electron deficient and this oxygen which now carrying negative charge will attack on positively charged phosphorus so the first carbon atom will at will attach with carbon number 6 okay now we, you will understand why i number these carbons so it is easier for us to find out the structure of the ring using numbering so we have this oxophosphatane and in the next step this bond will break and it will remove as triphenylphosphide and we have double bond here so it is an example of intramolecular wittig reaction now we have some important points to be remembered first is simple phosphorenes are highly reactive and therefore unstable and when we attach a electron withdrawing group to make them stable their reactivity with ketone is slow as compared to aldehyde okay they will react rapidly with aldehydes but their reactivity is slow with ketones as compared to aldehydes so now we will use wetsworth imon reagent for this purpose so how this wetsworth imon reagents are prepared they are prepared by arbuzope reaction then what is arbuzope reaction in this reaction we will use triethyl phosphide p o e t whole thrice so in this reaction we are using triethyl phosphide in place of triphenyl phosphine and second reagent is bromoester so in this reaction the lone pair of electron will attack on this carbon which is electron deficient after the removal of vr minus so now we have positive charge on phosphorus and the lone pair of electron on oxygen will shift here to form a double bond and now we have positive charge on oxygen atom then this bond will break and we have this as a product and we will use it for the further reaction it is known as phosphonate so for the wittig reaction we used phosphorane now we we are using phosphonate the hydrogens attached with the carbon which is attached with phosphorus having electron withdrawing group are acidic in nature so these hydrogens are also acidic in nature and we can remove them using a base so in the next step we will use base and it will remove 1h atom then we will use ketone or aldehyde then this 
oxygen atom has negative charge so the positive this phosphorus will attack here and the negatively charged carbon will attack on this carbon so again we have a four membered cyclic ring so this bond will break and we have alkene this reaction is known as wetsworth imone reaction the reaction used for generation of phosphonate is known as arbuzob reaction and this reaction is known as wetsworth imone reaction sometimes it is also called as horner wetsworth imone reaction then triphenylphosphines are also used for the conversion of alcohols to halides for this reaction we will use dead that is diethyl azo dicarboxylate it is very important reagent and it has been frequently asked in the competitive exams so dead and triphenyl phosphine so in the first step triphen lone pair of electrons present on phosphorus of triphenyl phosphine will attack on the nitrogen atom of dead diethyl azo dicarboxylate so this bond will break nitrogen nitrogen double bond is weak in nature so it will break and a negative charge uh, will shift to nitrogen atom second nitrogen atom and this this negative charge can be balanced so we can have this equilibrium here in the next step we will use nucleophile containing alkyl group so this negative charge will shift here and the negative charge containing nitrogen will attack on methyl group so it will attach to nitrogen here in the next step we will use alcohol and the lone pair of electron present on o uh, oxygen atom of oh will attack on the positively charged phosphorus so this bond will break and we have this and this negative charge containing nitrogen compound so in the next step this bond will break and this negative charge of nitrogen will attack on the hydrogen atom and it will be removed as nh compound this h will connect here to form nh compound of it and we have r ch2o pph3 plus so in the next last step we will use i minus a nucleophile which is generated from this reaction and this is sn2 reaction so it will attack here this ch2 because it is electron deficient after the breaking of this bond because phosphorus has strong affinity for oxygen so this bond will break easily and we have halide as final compound so alcohol is converted into halide and it is sn2 reaction therefore product is obtained with inversion in the configuration so it is very important reaction and it is known at mid sunubo reaction so so mid sunubo reaction is basically nucleophilic substitution reaction so we can use other nucleophiles also in addition to halides so we can also convert alcohols to ester so suppose we are using this alcohol on which this methyl group is out of the plane so now we can see what is the benefit of mid sunubo reaction so suppose we are converting it into ester by simple methods so the product is with retention in configuration but when we are using mid sunubo reaction and then the product is obtained with inversion in configuration in the ozonolysis reaction we can also use triphenyl phosphine mild re reducing agent and we can stop this reaction at aldehyde level suppose we have this alkene here and we are using triphenyl phosphine so we will get two molecules of rcho we are using hydrogen peroxide then it will be converted into carboxylic acid and when we are using sodium boron hydride then we get alcohol because it is a reducing agent so it is very important reagent and we will see problems related to it in upcoming video so keep watching my channel and subscribe my channel share it with your friends please hit the like button thank you so much